Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to another episode of the Nat Bros Podcast, Reaction Time. I mean, technically it's always been reactions, but you know, we're reacting to week 13 of the fantasy football, the Chat Town Fantasy Football League. And yes, I do have a microphone because I want my sound quality to be better. Okay. And so hopefully this will make it sound better. Hopefully this will work better. Increasing the sound quality. Got to make it crisp and clean. Although this is not the best microphone to do that with. Apparently a Sure microphone is better, but those things cost a lot of money. And I have this one. So uh, it's either spend money or use the one you got. So I'm using the one I got. And part of the reason why I hadn't used it before is because there's this little cord that I couldn't find. I didn't have one readily available. And then somehow I found one. I think... Somewhere here at the school, and so I got it. Ta-da. So that's how we're. That's how I'll be recording, uh, probably from here on out. The only reason why I didn't do it last week is because I didn't have the microphone. I with feel me. like you could figure out a way to make something to hold it for you. They, I actually do have one, but the problem is, is like if it's not this close to my mouth, like unless I like like tape it, like I could tape it to my chest and be like, "Hello, ladies and gentlemen." Maybe put it inside. No, I better not. <laughs> Showing off a little too much skin. Uh, anyway. Wrap it around your neck and put it like right here. Dude, it is not that long. It is literally, it's literally like, like this long. <laughs> it's a very short amount. <laughs> oh, very, did. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I got to be like right next to the, I'm like, hello. Good hello, good is good. everything okay? <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Um, so. Do you want to you break down the current standings? Sure, why not? Get it. We're going to flip it up here. Currently okay. in last place. <laughs> For lack uh, of not trying, like like with a victory. Not 3 and 11. 2 and 11? Or 2 and 11. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Max. Yeah, as as you as y'all listen to our podcast or watch our shows, you will learn Nick is not that great at math. You will also learn that Andrew is also not that great at math. <laughs> listen, can, and can, and let's go with this. Who was the engineer? Who's the English teacher? Let's go with that. <laughs> not, not us two for sure. We're, we've both been fired from our positions. As we're both our Yeah, yeah, we're both pretending really hard. <laughs> anyway. All right. Coming in in 12th place with a 3-10 and 10 record, the Leprechauns. Way to go on your win, sir. Um, well done. Maybe you, <clears throat> did you say Did you say well done or hold yeah. on? Yeah, well done. Well done. Sorry, well done. Uh, microphone's not helping at all. It's not crisp. <laughs> Shortly thereafter, 12th is 11th place at 4 and 9. That's Let's Ride, who is losing by 50 points to the biggest loser in 10th place, who is also 4 and 9. Oof, number 9, Scott's Tots. He has climbed so far. Uh, let's see. I mean, three. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's 5 and 8 at 9th place. Uh, Water Boys is 8th place at 6 and 7. Shrimp Farms. Seventh place at six and seven. Now the top six. Lamarvel Universe is in sixth place. He has not locked in or clinched the playoff division or playoff bracket. Playoff. Birth. Birth. Whatever. Yeah, Birth. sure. Why not? Birth. Spell it. I'm just joking. Anyways. Uh, Don't try me. So yeah. 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 He, he could lose and still get knocked out, apparently. He could. He could it would take a lot. Let's see what would it take. Holy crap! Twelve, twenty. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get, yeah, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. I, I'm doing my math real quick. Don't, don't, don't shoot me down yet. The uh, Marvel plays biggest loser this week, so him losing might be poetic if he loses to the biggest loser. Um, fifth place, Nicholas back in the hot seat, eight and five. Right. Way to go! Locked up that playoffs, boy. <laughs> Woo! He is locked into the playoff berth. Oh, dropping the fourth place. Don't take the bait, man. Eight and five. Got his butt kicked. Um, that's me, in case y'all didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, better than Scott. Climbing the charts so fast. It's crazy. 
I think what like three weeks ago, he was seventh, I believe. Probably, yeah, or so, yeah, yeah. He was he was out of it for sure. Mm-hmm. Ah, number two, heartbeat, nine and four. And last but not least, because he's number one, London Silly Nannies at ten and three. Um, nice let's, see. let's see. Every- let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Go ahead. Everybody in the top five has made it into the playoffs, and so um, we'll talk. We'll talk about playoffs. We'll break down the playoffs, uh, the playoff picture. Um, in a and bit. just just to reiterate the question I asked my brother earlier, because he wasn't recording, was you're sure that if I beat the snot out of you, you won't lose your playoff berth? Because I'd feel bad. I would feel bad a little bit. I, that is correct. If you if you lose to me, because you probably will. Uh, I will not lose my playoff berth. No, um, no matter no matter what happens, even if I lose, because because what would happen? Here's here's what would happen. If I lose, whether it is like the only one who could potentially who would switch places with me would be Lamarvel Universe, because even if Shroot Farms made it into the playoffs or Water Boys made it into the playoffs, and we'll talk about how those happen, how those can happen, uh, even if they make it in. Their mm-hmm. record is still lower than mine, so they would be they would take the sixth position, and I would still be in fifth position, even if I lose. That being said, if Lamarvel <laughs> wins and I lose, Lamarvel and I will switch places. He'll become fifth place, and I will be sixth place. So, which kind of makes sense because, in all honesty, I was looking at it earlier, and I have the easiest schedule. If you look at the points against, my points against are is, is eleven hundred and twenty one. Everybody else has at least ten. Like biggest biggest loser has eleven thirty one. Um, you know, heartbeat has eleven sixty four. So yeah, I have had the easiest schedule to get into the playoffs by a long shot, or not a long shot, but definitely. That's okay. Schedule. You've had it easy. We got yeah. it. Okay. This week, average difference of points was twenty four point four seven. So this is the this is the first week we've gotten. Around the same number. So it was 24.76 last week and 24.47 this week. Into the matchups and useful points that were left on the bench. So first off, yours truly back in the hot seat. Uh, taking a resounding victory. Almost the biggest blowout of the week. Did it resound? Huh? I didn't, I didn't hear it over here. It was sounding, resounding over there? Almost, almost, yeah, a resounding victory. Yeah, yeah, resounding victory. Um, almost had the biggest blowout of the week. Uh, unfortunately did not. I, my team beat the water boys, 143.78 to 104.70. Uh, I had the, the perfect lineup. I, I say it's the perfect lineup because it was my team. It's just the best lineup that I could possibly put out there. So I put the best players out there. Uh, the water boys left 6.16 points on the bench. I uh, should have started Justin Fields over Dak Prescott. And should have started Jarek McKinnon over Debo Samuel. Um, the the Justin Fields over Dak Prescott, uh, that one would have been tough uh, to choose. I think that's the only one that I probably would have seen happening. There's no way you're putting Jarek, Jarek, Jarek McKinnon over Debo Samuel just because Debo Samuel is just a powerhouse when he hits. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, even if Waterboys had put in the best lineup, he still wouldn't have won. It would have been 143.78 to 110.86. Next matchup, Scott's Tots versus Biggest Loser. Scott's Tots pulled off a miraculous win against the Biggest Loser. <laughs> 71.8 to 67.46. I'm going to quiet it down, but that might be a little loud. <clears throat> Scott's Tots left 6.2 points on the bench. Uh, nobody's going to start Paris Campbell over Jeff Wilson Jr., but that's what they should have done. Base loser. Start Snow Brown over Daryl Henderson Jr., who apparently just bombed this week. Uh, would have gotten an extra two and a half points. Either way, he would not have won with the 71.8 to 69.96. Uh, has Adam given up? I don't know. Well, the reason the reason why I asked that the reason I asked that is because he has played Daryl Henderson Jr. two weeks in a row, and I don't even think Daryl Henderson Jr. is starting. I mean, clearly he should have started Cam Akers. No, he should have started Noah Brown. 
Oh, you mean you can't like pick Cam up? Cam Akers the- went off. Yes, yes, yes. Should have started Baker Mayfield. Well, no, just, yeah, just, I would love. Listen, I would love to start a quarterback in a running back position or a wide receiver position. That would be great, unfortunately. And we can talk to Scott about doing a super flex team. You, you can later. do that. You can do that. It's called Taysom Hill. Yeah, but then Taysom Hill <laughs> goes off one week. I, th- I think Taysom Hill did decent. He hasn't this gone week. off since like week four. He did good this week. Did He's he? the number number one tight end. He got a touchdown. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> he was number one? Pretty sure, yeah. I don't I mean, think so. Over Kelsey? Yeah, man. Kelsey only got like five points. Over Garrett Everett? He had like 20 Gerald, points. Gerald, Gerald Everett is how That's you what I said. Him. Gerald, Gerald Everett. Tight end, week 13. Taysom Hill with 12.34. Noah Fant with 12.2. Kay Dotton with 11.8. Greg Dulcich with 11.5. Evan Ingram with 11.5. Gerald Everett with 10.5. Cole wow. Komet. Pat Fairmuth. This guy out of Tennessee, Okonowo, Okonkwo, Okonkwo, that's how you say it. His name is Chigozim Okonkwo. You know, it's not. Ohana, Onomatopoeia, whatever it is. (laughs) Is there a way to click on it and hear his name? Hold on. (laughs) I don't think so. It is is Okonkwo. I have heard him them say that. I'm, but, I'm not trying to sound like I, I was thinking he'd be like a, a, a Samoan or something with that name, but I was oh, yeah, way no, no. off. I think, it, I, I mean, obviously, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> or Asian. I thought for sure that was like an Asian name. Oh, my. On to the next matchup. Better than Scott took down the Marvel Universe uh, with 107.84 points to 77.84 points. Only 30 point difference. Maybe I should go with Lil Marvel. <laughs> what, winning or going against him? Going against him. Dude. So, secretly, yes. Um, and or London Silly Nays, but we'll get to that in a bit. So, anyway, um, better than Scott left 11.6 points on the bench. He should have started Michael Gallup over Alvin Kamara. Again, again, Alvin Kamara needs to be benched because they're just. He's not doing what he needs. The, the, the Saints offense is just poopy. He's going to be benched this week. Probably not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he's on bye. <laughs> yeah, valid awesome. point. Valid point. Um, the Marvel Universe left 26 points on the bench. I uh, should have started Greg Dulcich over Tyler Higby, Alec Pierce over Brandon Ayuk, and Marquez, Marquez Valdez Scantling over George Pickens. Um Greg Dulcich over ah, – man, that's – that. Uh, Tyler Higby is just out of the running to me just because the Rams just suck. Um, but even but starting Greg Dulcich – But they got Baker Mayfield the, now. Yeah, but it's going to take them some time to get acclimated, and it's just that they didn't have anybody else. So I can't believe uh, San Francisco passed on Mayfield. <laughs> San Francisco wants to win. <laughs> I couldn't say it with, yeah, I couldn't say it with a straight face. I'm so sorry. Another outstanding loss to Heartbeat was performed by none other than myself. <laughs> we just we just can't win against Heartbeat. Other people can, we can't. <laughs> I think I beat him once, honestly. You think I don't think no, you lost no, we already talked about this. We talked about this last week. You lost to him last time you played. But I'm not talking about just last time. By like time, so. sixty plus points. Like that's what we that's what that's what we talked about. I don't know why you gotta be like that. Like, I'm just saying gotta... again, again. Like, I need to remind you. I edited the video. I remember that. That's what we talked about. I remember we said that. I was like, I was like, you lost to him. I never talked points. about it. You just rubbed it in my face. Is all, what you, all you said was, "Why? Why you gotta say that? Why you gotta say that? Yeah, why you gotta say that?" <laughs> well, at least this time it wasn't sixty points. Really? This time? <laughs> just half. Bro, <laughs> he lost by seven points to Lil Marvel. He scored seventy points. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> exactly. Exactly <laughs> my thought. How did you know what I was thinking? Oh, man. Hard All right, is it my turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go into that. Go into that matchup. Dang, he's, he's lost to all top three people except me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why you're not top three. <laughs> Carrying on from where my brother just totally demolished me. Um, 
<laughs> Heartbeat left point five points <laughs> on the bench. Uh, if he had started Deontay Johnson over Nick Chubb, he'd have got half a point more. <laughs> There's no way that's happening. I don't even know how Nick Chubb did not get more points because they were going up against – oh, no, I do know. No, 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 I'm sorry. Deshaun Watson was back, and he was rusty as hell. Dude, I could have won. And, and – yeah, you could have won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I knew that that was going to sting. Yep. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First off, I don't even know like, – let's – we'll, we'll get into that. I want to say – I want to say with Nick Chubb, Cleveland, Cleveland's defense – Destroyed Houston. I looked and I was like, I was like, how in the world did Cleveland win so much? Oh, no, they had three like, touchdowns. How did, how did their ridiculous. defense get thirty points? Let me check this out. And so I went in and I watched it. Like Deshaun had five points, Nick Chubb had eight fantasy points, and I'm like, what is going on? And then I saw touchdown, kick return, touchdown, or like uh, it was like pick six, fumble, touchdown, the off- and the then offense never got on the field. <laughs> never needed to. Never needed to. So. Like really great job on on Cleveland's defense, but anyway, so let's bad. yeah, let's let's go let's go into let's go into your stuff. Let's let's talk about so yours. so I should have started Curtis Samuel or Corey Davis or Devin Duvernay. Randall Cobb is like I would say I he dropped the ball, but he never him. he never even got a target because he's been scoring good the last two weeks. Like enough to put put in over Devin Duvernay or over yes Curtis Samuel. Oh, maybe not Curtis Samuel, but yes to Devin Duvernay. All right, let me let me let's, let's, uh, right. I'm gonna vet this real quick. I'm gonna vet this real quick. You just, you just keep talk, talking I'll, about talking I'll, about how bad I'll, talk about how bad your team is. And stuff. I could have won. I could have won. That's um, we're not even gonna dwell on it. I'm gonna skip your next turn and just go to mine. I'm gonna do it all over again. Next game: Shrewd Farm versus London Silly Manny's. Barely eked it out. It's what my brother likes right there. Difference of 1.36 points. London Silly has had a perfect lineup. Shroot Farms could have won. God, it hurts. Uh, if he had started, uh, is it Drake London? Yeah, over Sorry. Sutton and Diamond People Jones over Antonio Gibson. Yes, he could have won 106.7 to 90.56. It burns, Shroot. It burns so bad. I'm pulling for you. Going going back to Shrew Farms, uh, yeah, I probably would have started Drake London over Cortland Sutton just because, or or Donovan Peoples Jones over Cortland Sutton, either one, uh, just because like it's hard to trust Denver's offense. Like Denver is just terrible, and so do they have yeah. an offense? <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing. So that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, if if Shrew Farms had started his people, like it would have been a completely different playoff picture at this point. If he had started um, either Drake London over Cortland Sutton or Donovan Peoples Jones over Antonio Gibson, it would have been different. Um, I mean, it really yeah. wouldn't be that different because everybody won the top six except no, no, for no, me. But, no, no. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, it would be different because London Silly Nannies would have lost. And so going into next week, it would have been like, okay, who's going to be the one and two? Because so he'd have been he'd have been <laughs> nine and four, right? Right, a long way. And, and I would be nine and four. No, if it's, I had won, yeah. Oh, we're not we're not talking about you. We're not talking about you. We're talking about Shrew Farms. If Shrew Farms had won, and London Silly Nannies had lost, and everything else were the same, then playoff picture would have been different. Yeah, but it and wouldn't so, have. It would have. Why? Why? Because Heartbeat would have been number one. So Heartbeat would have been number one. London Silly Nannies would have been number two. But London Silly so you Nannies. See, you're, you're talking about who they play, but they're still not set even to this point. Like, I'm just saying they both have buys. So what, what I'm saying is the playoff picture, like like going into the playoffs, would be different. Like, it would be kind of seen, like, because it would have been two at – both at nine and four, right? Shoot Farms would probably be – He'd be, he'd be not, seven and not, six right now. So he would be clinch. He would start to win another one. Right. He would have to win another one, but it would be a lot easier uh to to get in. He doesn't need like a, a miracle to get in. You see Shrew Farms. And he's going against Scott's Tot, so that would be a chance. And Lamar could you could lose to Biggest Loser, possibly. And so then he would be able to get in a lot easier. But there's still things that can happen. Anyway, uh right. 
Last but not least, with the biggest blowouts of the week, the Leprechauns won a game against Let's Ride. Won a game in 11 tries so far. Or no, I'm sorry, not 11 tries. This is 10, 9, 9, 9 tries. It was on a 9-game losing streak. Almost oh, made thought, it to a 10-game losing streak. I thought it was no, 10. No, no, no. No, no, no. He, he, didn't, he didn't start 2-0. and oh. He started like... One and one, and then two and one, and then nine-game losing streak. So after a nine-game losing streak, the Leprechauns come back and destroy Let's Ride. 125.9 to 75.78. That is a point difference of 50.12 points. The Leprechauns, nice job, Michael, finally winning. Could have started Samaje P. Ryan over Nico Collins. Let's Ride left 13.4 points on the bench. Should have started Jerry Judy over Chase Claypool. Dalton Schultz over George Kittle. And Tyler Boyd over Kyron Williams. The Tyler Boyd one, yes. Absolutely, 100%. I don't know why Kyron Williams was even in the running. Uh, Jerry Judy is a little bit more challenging. Dalton Schultz also a little bit more challenging. Especially after George Kittle came off of a pretty decent tight end week uh, last week. <clears throat> week before, I guess. So, but even if Ryan had started all of his players, he still wouldn't have won. It would have been 125.9 to 89.18. Moving on to matchups to look forward to. The three matchups that we're really interested in are basically the three matchups that have all the playoff bound people in them for a couple reasons. Number one, um, number one, so. Back in the hot seat, me against Don't Take the Bateman, Andrew. Um, the reason why this one is interesting is because if I lose and LaMarvel wins, that means I drop into sixth place. But I still retain playoff boundness. Okay. Um, however, if if whoever wins out of us, if better than Scott loses, if better than Scott loses, then whoever wins out of us goes jettisoned into third position. Okay, into third place. Um also, we're watching Heartbeat and London Silly Nannies to A, kind of see how London Silly Nannies can handle the dominance of Heartbeat, um, being that London Silly Nannies is in first place and Heartbeat is in second place. But with a win, Heartbeat could take first place and London Silly Nannies will still remain in second place uh, or will still have the bye, but just in second place versus first place. So the reason why this is interesting now I'll break this down. I'm gonna I'm gonna start talking about the playoff playoff picture. Uh, the playoffs. 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 I'm talking about the playoffs. Um. So with the playoff picture, Lamarvel, Lamarvel. Um. Basically, if Lamarvel wins, he gets into the playoffs. Shoe Farms can win, um, or can get in, but they need a lot of help. They need to win. Lamarvel needs to lose, and Shoe Farms needs to score more. Uh, like. 100 points more than LaMarvel's score. Possible? Yes. The Water Boys, Matt, needs an act of God. He needs to win. LaMarvel needs to lose. Shoot Farms needs to lose. And Water Boys needs to beat LaMarvel's score by 200 points. So, yeah. It's possible. Possible, but probably not. Um, it does look like going into the playoffs, Heartbeat and London Silly Nannies will have the buys no matter what happens. Jesse wins. He's the one, and Trent remains number two because of points. If Trent wins, he becomes the number one. Jesse falls to number two. Both of them will be a 10 and four. Um, we've already talked about it. My team could get third place. Um, by- I, I, mean, I mean, if we're talking about, you know, impossibilities, I mean, there is – Every bit of chance that better than Scott could win with Heartbeat losing and get second place, but it's a hundred points is what he needs. One hundred and ten points. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. by one hundred and ten points, that's that's a good point. Yeah, I mean we're we're covering the hundred and the two hundred yeah. points. You yeah. know, yeah. by by that right, hell, you and I got a big old chance of getting in. You buy three hundred points, and me by two hundred. <laughs> No, number one, we haven't seen any 300 or 200 point games <coughs> yet. But, but, well, no, 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 we haven't, we haven't seen them, and it would need to be over whatever the other person makes. So it's not just 200; it's 200 more points. So, but with with 110, like it could be that heartbeat scores like 70, 
and then uh, better than Scott could get 180, and then heartbeat bench place. all of your players, and let's see if any of us can get on second place. There's no way heartbeat is. I dare place. you. <laughs> you gonna pay the man money? You gotta pay him some money if you want him to bench. <laughs> so I'll um, pay you twenty dollars if I win it all. Anyway. So I, I have a chance of getting third place if I win and better than Scott loses. The same with Andrew. Andrew has a chance to get in third place if he wins and better than Scott loses. Or you score 118 more points than better than Scott. So you could you could he could win and you could win as long as you score 118 more points than what he he does. And we're at we're adding a bunch of hundred point winners here, aren't we? Oh yeah. Uh, better than Scott if he wins, he gets third place and if uh, you lose uh, or you get less than 118 points over his score. Um, I, I would I would rather face London Silly Nannies than Heartbeat in the playoffs. I would rather face – here's the thing. I would rather face myself if, if, if I wasn't myself. <laughs> Me, LaMarvel, and London Silly Nannies are the weakest teams going into the playoffs. Heartbeat, better than Scott, and you are the stronger teams. Now that being said, it could it could be like my team had I think the most the most points this past week. Is that right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. So my team had the most points this past week, and so my team could potentially be. I, what I would love is I would love my team to just jettison into the playoffs with like lots of points, lots of great things going on. That would be awesome. Now, a couple of things to note. Previous champs that are in the playoffs. Yours truly, back in the hot seat. I uh, was the first champion of this fantasy league, and so it has been a long time uh, since I've had a chance at the championship, or since I've won the championship. Uh, better than Scott, Nathan. Uh, he was the 2017 winner. Uh, London Silly Nannies, Jesse, is the two, was the 2019 winner. Uh, if LaMarvel gets in, Jacob and Nathan will be the only two teams to make it back to the playoffs from last year. Um, better than Scott, Nathan, has made the playoffs four years in a row in five of the league's seven years. Um, also, we did break Scott's Tots four-year playoff streak. So for the past four years, Scott's Tots has been in the playoffs. I like so. how all your statistics don't include me in any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listen, I, listen. Feel like, I feel like I've been in the playoff at least twice. Yes, but not last year. I wasn't talking about last year. We all I'm know not, last year I wasn't there. <laughs> so, so, so the other the other thing too is like so. T- I think two years ago is when you were last in the playoffs. It has been four years since I've been in the playoffs. Four years since I've been in the playoffs. Like for me, I'm like, oh yay, I'm in the playoffs finally. <laughs> Like I will mark that as something good, even if I come out at sixth place. I'm just, uh, I won't be as happy, but I'll still be happy because I made it to the playoffs. In week thirteen, Andrew went eight of fourteen, uh, and I went kind of nine of fourteen, maybe eight of fourteen. I don't know if Green Bay counts because I said if Jordan Love plays, Green Bay would win, but I didn't really specify. Did I specify if uh, Rogers plays, Green Bay would lose? Mm, I think I did yes. That. So then yes. we're we're both at eight. Of 14. Um, I did say that the Browns would cover, and they did in a long shot. Uh, however, I did also say Seattle would cover, but they did not. Uh, they were eight-point favorites, and I think they only won by four points or something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, we are both eight of 14, eight, of, eight, eight, eight out of 14. Uh, so we got six games wrong between us. Or, or uh, Sorry, six games each wrong. All right. Let's get into the games for this week. New York Jets travel to Buffalo to take on the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Buffalo Bills are 9.5 favorites. Um, who you got? That is a great question. I feel like the Jets play differently in the cold, if that makes sense at all. Does that make sense at all? It makes a little bit of sense. But, I mean, the Bills, they got a team. I mean, I might pull with the Bills. Bills. All right, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I think that Buffalo will have a field day with them, New York Jets. Um, the Cleveland Browns travel to the Cincinnati Bengals home 
Cleveland's take favorites? On the Bengals. No, no, Bengals. Cincinnati's favorite. Yeah. Cincinnati's six point favorites. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go with Cincinnati under forty seven points. Well, the, the 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 over under is forty seven, so both of them will score forty seven. So basically, they're saying like I know um, what it says. Together, they have to score forty seven or not score forty seven. I'm gonna say they don't score forty seven points. Oh, you're saying okay, okay. I'm gonna take well, the under with Cincinnati. We're not, we're not we're not going there, but you take the Bengals. I will also take the Bengals. I don't, I don't really see how – I mean, they come out of Cincinnati. I was wrong to, to, to say that they would beat Kansas City. I was like, what? Like, I don't even know how that happened. All right. In the biggest <laughs> point spread – not the point spread, but the biggest um, favorite. margin of victory. Yeah, the biggest favorite of the week. The Houston Texans will travel, <laughs> travel to Arlington, Texas to take on the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are 17-point favorites. Who you got? Mm, Dallas. <laughs> I wonder, do, do they I sleep guess, over in Arlington or do they go home? Oh, no, they probably go home. It's Yeah, it's too close to, to sleep over. Actually, I think all of them go home. Plus, also, like, the other thing, too, is, like, this is this is a, a, a midday game, so it's not, it's not anything that they would need to stay over. The other thing, too, is, like, I don't – who do you think – who do you think gets more points, Zeke or Tony? I think since Tony got the most last week, that's up for Zeke now. You think so? I think I think Tony will still do it because uh, he'll. Yeah, maybe it is because because that that Texas defense just lets people run like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The Minnesota Vikings travel to Detroit to take on the Lions. The Lions are one point five favorites. I think this is just home field advantage only. Like. The Detroit Lions have been really? doing pretty well. Uh, the Detroit Lions have uh, been doing pretty well recently. Um, so, but they are one point five favorites over the Minnesota Vikings. Who you got? Have they been winning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they beat the Jaguars last week, but that was because I think I called Jackson. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. go with uh, my boy, who's built different. Oh, built for tough. No, I was talking about. Uh, oh. Did you not see that Pat 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 McAfee show where he was asking the uh, Kirk Cousins? He's like, "Have you always been built this way?" He's like, "I've always been built this way." <laughs> so you're taking the Vikings and Kirk Cousins? Yeah, that one. Give me the Lions. I think I think that the Lions are. Bro, um, they won one game. They're five and seven. Oh yeah, that's I right. don't. That, yeah, I that's don't know right. how they're favorites, except for the fact that Dallas stomped the sh out of them. Well, here's the thing. No, go ahead. Pick the Lions. Pick the Lions. Go ahead. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be funny if they win, huh? <laughs> I think I think teams I think teams like this I think they always play each other more difficult in division. The Lions have Amon Ross St. Brown. They have uh, DeAndre Swift coming back and, and doing really well. And so that's part of why I think that the Vikings have the chance to lose. So I will take the Lions. All right. Jacksonville Jaguars travel to Tennessee to take on our precious Tennessee Titans. Who you got? Tennessee. Oh, the Titans are four-point favorites. Tennessee with uh, no general manager. With what? No general manager. We mean no general manager. They fired a general manager today. The Titans? Yeah. W no, they didn't. You swear. swear. You got to move to America. You get all the good news over here. No way. Well, they it was fired... official. It was official yesterday. They fired. Oh, they fired John Robinson because <laughs> they lost it. <laughs> <laughs> the Yahoo Sports says, Titans fire general manager John Robinson after losing to A.J. Brown Eagles. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, A.J. Brown uh, had like two touchdowns and 119 yards or something like that. Well, yeah, because it's A.J. Brown. 
What I mean, oh man, I don't, that's that was that's a stupid thing to do. I think that's a terrible idea. Anyway, wow. All right, so Titans, Titans. We believe the Titans will be beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles travel to the New York Giants. The Eagles are seven point favorites. Who you got? I'm hoping the Eagles. I if they lose now. Oof. I, I don't think I don't think there's any way that the Eagles can lose. I mean, I, I think that they're just a dominant team. Um, I think they've got everything working for them, besides their defense and their their offense. Um, like they're doing, or besides their defense and offense, that's all they've got. Um, but their defense is complementing their offense, and so I think that yeah, they've got uh, a better chance of just being awesome, just continuing to be awesome. So, I put us down for both Eagles. Is that okay? That's fine. All right, cool. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens travel to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are three-point favorites. Who do you got? <laughs> did you, wait, who did you say? Ravens? Ravens. Okay. Um, even though Lamar is not there? Who? Lamar. Who's that? Lamar Jackson. You know, oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 definitely. You think you think you think that with Lamar not being there, that the Ravens still have a chance to beat the Steelers? Who's his backup, Joe Flacco? No, that he's in. I think he's in. It's uh, a joke. I know he's in Jets. I know where he is. <laughs> it was like you know. I was like, my bro, not know. <laughs> Have you not heard? <laughs> <laughs> Did you not realize that the Jets? Uh, I will. I, I'm going to take the Steelers on this one, um, just because I can. Should I take the Steelers? Is that a good idea? Na, 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 na. Um, yeah, give me the Steelers because I think I think uh, T J Watt being back um, and just their ability to to <laughs> play pretty well um, and like losing Lamar Jackson. I think I think all of that will work in the Steelers' favor. All right, the Kansas City Chiefs travel to Denver to take on the Denver Broncos. The Chiefs are nine-point favorites. Who do you have? Broncos. You liar! Don't even give me that crap. Chiefs. Yeah, that's what I thought. I will also take the Chiefs because, uh, yeah, because they're the Chiefs. All right, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers travel to San Francisco to take on the 49ers. Who you got? 49ers. Same here. I just don't. I just don't see how Tampa Bay, seeing how terrible they did last night. I guess it was last night or two nights ago. But against the um, who is it? The uh, the New Orleans Saints and just barely eking out a win. Yeah, I don't. I don't see how they're gonna be able to beat San Francisco. I just. I mean, Jimmy G is gone, and they do need to get a, a decent quarterback in there. So that's that's a chance the Bucks have. So, uh, so yeah, we'll both take the 49ers. Um, the Carolina Panthers travel to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. The Seahawks are 4.5 favorites. Who you got? Seahawks. Yep, same here. I mean, I mean unless Sam Donald does something that he never did before and win. <laughs> He's won before. He has won before. But going into you know, Seattle and – You know I make a good point. Yeah, going into – well, going into Seattle and, and playing against – uh, the Seahawks. I just don't. I just, that's going to be a challenging one. All right. The Miami Dolphins on Sunday night football travel to the Los Angeles Chargers. The Miami Dolphins are three point favorites. Who are you picking? Chargers. You taking the Chargers? Mm-hmm. Really? Why? Because Miami ain't been playing that well. Mm, okay, I get that. I guess I, I guess I can understand that. Uh, let me see. Uh, I mean, I'm just not. I'm not just picking them randomly. I have reasons. Now, if I could just pick all the players. Here's the thing. I think I. I don't. I think Miami has a chance to win this one. Um, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, there's a chance the New York Jets would beat Buffalo Bills. Well, that is also true. But I think that Miami, in order to stay in the hunt, <laughs> and in order to, to do this, I mean, they've got too many weapons, and I don't. I don't I don't really think the the Chargers will be able to yeah but the Chargers don't really have or the Dolphins don't really have a good defense but I think 
they I, think the Dolphins, I think the Dolphins will figure it out. I think the Dolphins will figure it out and be able to to take uh, take the win. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll differ with you on that. All right. Then for Monday Night Football, the New England Patriots travel to the Arizona Cardinals. The Patriots are one point five favorites. Patriots. And I don't know. Taking the Patriots, really? Mm-hmm. Have the Cardinals been playing in parallel? No, not really. Yeah, give me the Patriots. Yeah, I think the Patriots will win. I mean, I make pretty pretty good sound decisions, I feel like, you know, compared to how I was like two years ago with football. I, I didn't know what the heck was going on. <laughs> we still have no no idea what's going on, but you just, you're just more confident in your not knowing. <laughs> what do you mean? I know what's going on. Yeah. Tyler Murray's still out. Yeah. Oh, James is he? Connor. I think so. All right. Two weeks, know, wasn't think- it? I don't know. He he may he may be back. He might be back. He may be coming back. <clears throat> so I'm not sure. But anyway, I mean, how you feeling? Honest. How you feeling this let's, week? Of- let's be honest here. I yeah. knew that uh, we fired our GM, and you didn't. That's a valid point. But also, like, when did that happen? That happened today, right? Oh, oh he see. is back. Never mind. Oh, that. Oh, oh, I thought you everything. wait. I thought you. I thought you knew everything. They still lost <laughs> to the Chargers. I think that's everything. Are we good? I'm good. Are you right. good? I'm good. All right, I'll end this. <clears throat> we'll get it wrapped up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate your attention, even though it may be <clears throat> sporadic and stuff like that, but we do like it. We do appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, please click the like button. Or First, click that subscribe button. Then click the like button. Then click the bell. That way you can be notified when we post. And leave us a comment in the section below. Tell my beautiful co-host how beautiful he is. If you are listening on your favorite podcasting app, please subscribe. Leave us a five-star review telling my co-host how beautiful he is, even though you can't. Just imagine how beautiful he is based on the dulcet tones of his voice. Dulcet. I'm going to need you to find that word. Yeah, I'm going to need you to find that word if you can spell it. Define, I said. Anyway. I'm Nick. I'm Andrew. And as always, <laughs> you have the open invitation to our conversation. Bye bye. <clears throat>